Hey everybody, it's Rampan. Welcome! I haven't been able to record in a few days, but I finally found some time to record something, at least one uh, video. Um, not sure when I'll be able to record again, but I just thought I'd record this. So, what I wanted to do is I wanted to start a campaign with uh, Europa Barbarum 2 because it finally released on Medieval. So, we're going to be doing that, and I'm going to be playing as Pergamon. Uh, mainly because I remember playing Rome. Um, Rome won a lot with uh, Europa Barbarum 1 playing as Pergamon, and it was pretty fun. So let's see, I'm gonna... Let's put this on hard difficulty and normal battle difficulty so they don't just get a bunch of bonuses. Um, let's start this campaign. And I'm not gonna skip past their little open cinematic, because it's actually kinda cool. Even though the buildings kinda feel wrong. That was that was awesome. I gotta really give it give props to the guys who made this. This is this is awesome. This is an awesome mod for medieval. It's been far too long. It's just awesome. And but I kind of feel bad that I don't think all the factions have an opening cinematic like that. Um, most do, um, but I don't think all of them do. I still think that's kind of cool. Okay. Ooh, select potential successor. I'm going to save that for later. I don't want to do that now. But here we are. Little Pergamon. Pergamon. <laughs> down here. And one thing that I don't like about this, since I decided... I tried playing a Pergamon campaign beforehand, just so I can kind of get the gifs of it. And one thing is it is insanely hard to expand um right now i'm going to be taking all these men out and rushing to byzantion to try and take it because rebels just continue growing they're insanely difficult to get rid of which is rather annoying but let's increase our tax rate here and what kind of temple do i want So far, I'm thinking the farming deity. Hmm. And train costs reduced. Temple of the highest. Yeah, let's go with the farming deity. that just so we have something um, but we're still gonna be going negative some money we have our little la saison I want you to head up to Byzantium and you're gonna sabotage something and I like I love the music for this I never no noticed it before but yeah it is a really hard to start out in this because it takes uh, a lot of work to start making money because your men cost a lot to upkeep and it's hard to 
keep them up because yeah these units infantry units yeah 300 piece 385 there's it's crazy let's end this turn but yeah this is so far in the campaigns that i've played it's pretty fun though it's it's pretty difficult I was playing as the Swabos, and I only had four settlements by the turn 140-something, because it took so long to expand, I had to, like, take a settlement, and then I had to disband my army so that I could become, so I could have money again, because I would get so negative in the process of taking that city, it'd take me so many turns to get out of this. Ooh, what's this? Message is from the Arche Salukia Palacios. To the people of Pergamon, greetings. As you of all age are aware, the Bithynians, in spirit of malice and avarice, avarice, have brought the barbarians into Asia, and the two are in an unholy alliance. Engaged in much pillaging and slaughter as we turn our forces against the Galatians. Assess the strength of your people, and if able, declare war on Bithynia. In doing so, you shall earn our favor and merit our aid. Okay, that's nice. Uh, no price. Oh, okay, so I can hit that if I need to. Let's just take this. These minor settlements, I guess, are supposed to be uh, forts. So that's kind of nice. So we're going to take the fort for now. And then we're going to march up and take Byzantium. Uh, oh. So far, I'm not going too negative, which is nice. Uh, in that Swabos campaign, I was going negative just way too quickly. Um, but let's end this turn again. We have to try and get to Byzantion and do something. It's interesting uh, being at college now. I don't start classes until Tuesday, but it's interesting. And one thing is the internet is beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. It has internet rivaling, rival, rival, rivaling Google Fiber. Um, like, on average, we're at least in a couple hundred uh, megabytes per second. Usually. It, it, and it's just crazy. It's just awesome and crazy. Um, okay. Let's see. Take this army here and start besieging them. We're going to just continue sieging them out for the six turns. We're only going negative a little bit of money, which is nice. General died here, sadly. Um, we can try and build something. And a negative. Okay. I'm gonna get that for more food, which will be nice. That's about all I can build for now. But, oh, get some this turn again. Still trying to take Byzantium. Slowly, sh slowly but surely working. We're gonna definitely gotta take Byzantium next, and I think if I remember I'm gonna have to send up my assassin actually look at this. Um, but the villages kind of to the north. I'll show after my turn's done. Trade rights. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, they're pretty weak, and they don't have as many rebel unit, uh, units as these cities on the Asia on Asia Minor, so I should be able to expand easier. And, okay, they're taking my fort, which is okay. I was just using it to be safe. But as you guys can see, the rebels are very active. Very, very active. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, we're going to switch up for another five turns. But uh, I'm going to send my assassin to do a little scouting. I really should actually have a spy do this, but I don't have enough money for a spy. All right. Oh, do I already have a spy? Where is he then? Oh, there he is. You head up here. You're going to scout. Because I know there's some 
actual major cities up here, and I think they are pretty undefended, so we're going to check that out. Oh, that's kind of cool. But we're still sieging out for another five turns. And this turn again. Now, if most of you have been, uh, have seen my campaigns, there's usually sometimes a lot of turn ending. There's going to be a lot in this campaign especially, <laughs> just because there's not a whole lot to do sometimes. Because uh, it's very difficult to expand. I actually had to make sure I did a... I tried doing a Pergamon campaign before uh, I started this one so that I could kind of figure out, oh, what's the best way that I could start expanding for you guys so that I don't just completely fail on the first turn, uh, first video. So yeah, see these are a lot, they don't have as many men, so they'll be easier to take. I'm going to try and take these two cities and then have that, and if I can, that should be good for now. But we'll see. And good thing we're not losing too much money. Let's end this turn again. At least the turns take no time at all, really. Which is awesome. They're taking a lot longer for me when I was uh, first playing. But yeah, we'll continue besieging Byzantion. And then we'll, yeah, try and take these. You, I want you to try and... Sabotage that. Are you successful? Nope, Mia failed. Aw, oh, damn it, the Gatai are trying to take that. Hmm. Okay. But, okay, let's end this turn again. Man, this makes me want to get Europa Barbarium, Barbarum on uh, Rome 1 again, because I just loved that. Or Roma Serectum. Roma Serectum 2 was kind of crazy when I was playing as Rome. I had so much land and so many armies. It was just crazy. My military skyrocketed at once I got more legions, and I just. It was just crazy how powerful I was. Okay, the Gatai took that city. I'll hope I can, I can take this one then, at least. So, we're gonna siege. We're just gonna hold them out for another two turns, and we'll try and take Tillis. Let's end this turn again. After this, we should be making money. Instead of going negative every turn. There we go. Get surging out for one more turn. And still hoping that they don't try and take this. Trying to keep sabotaging. He failed again. Okay, we're just about to start going negative, sad face. One more turn though. Let's end this. And we should be taking this next turn. Which is good. We need some sort of way to make money. Okay, and we should be one-to-one hmm, one ratio. Hmm. I'm gonna withdraw and besiege the meat. That gave me a little heart attack. Crap, I have to wait. <laughs> Crap. Get out of my way, please. I'm gonna attack. Damn it, I have to do that. I didn't want to do that. Wasted too much men. But we're gonna continue sieging this and we're gonna siege out for a few more turns. I do need to take Tillis as quickly as possible though. I'm gonna start ne going negative next turn. Mm. Then this turn again though. Okay. 
Still failed? Oh, come on. Okay, I want to at least see their numbers drop, and then I think I'll... Oh, I might just siege out for the whole six turns again. All five now, but we'll see. Let's end this turn again. Because I don't want to make rash decisions, because it takes a... It's pretty hard to get back. Uh, that's why I didn't want to attack that one army. Lost too many men doing so. Yeah, it's interesting being in college. <laughs> um... Because my roommate knows that I kind of use a little bit of fo have a little bit of Photoshop, Photoshop skills with GIMP and stuff, where I make my thumbnails, he wanted me to Photoshop him on into a picture. So for last hour before I started recording this, he want I was uh, <laughs> trying to kind of Photoshop him into a picture of him riding a bear instead of in place of Putin, where. I'm guessing you guys have seen that over the internet randomly where, yeah, Putin's riding a bear. Yeah, my friend, my, my roommate wanted me to do that for him. So, that was interesting. Uh, hi! You guys want trade rights? Yay! That's good. More trade, the better. No, get I don't. Okay, three more turns. I hope they fail. I think they will. So they don't have that many men. I'm hoping. We'll see. I don't want to assault that. What are my chances currently? One to one, yeah, I'm not assaulting that. So let's end this turn again. Okay. Two more turns. Yeah, there's just lots of turn endings. It's not fun. One more turn, and this should be pretty good. Yep, okay, they were unsuccessful at Tillis. Still hoping I can take it. Just want to end this one last turn, and then we should be able to take Byzantium. And then we have to group my men and try and take Tillis as soon as possible. So, hopefully we can do that. Now, it's 10 to 7, so I should be fine. Clear victory, didn't lose too many men. Second summit, now I'm making money. Yes! Now let's try and take some men out. I'm gonna make this a... that. And then we're gonna take out... Take out my faction leader. So leave everybody but you. And then how happy is that? It's decently happy, but I should probably put one unit in there at least. Let's put one pike unit. Let's take this army and head over to Tillis, and hopefully we can take it before the Gatai. And we should have plenty of men to just siege it out for several turns. We're now making money, which is nice. Not a whole lot, but money. Yes, let's take that bride. Ooh, now we're making lots of money. Okay, keep 
heading over. I need to get to Tillis. Oh. Oh, and one thing, uh, is it, does it happen for these guys too? Yes, it does. Oh, no, it doesn't actually. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. I just noticed with, uh, maybe that does happen. Maybe it's just, I don't know, I'll have to see. Um, but in my Swebby camp, Swebos campaign of this, when it was winter, the recruiting, uh, was increased an insane amount where you could recruit about eight units in one turn. Um, which is kind of interesting, where, and I'm curious if that happens also for the Greeks as well. So, we'll have to see, just waiting. I had about six slots in my capital. Let's see if I still have six slots once it's not s winter. Good. Get Siege this out. We'll Siege it out for a couple turns. Okay, it does. Okay, so it does still increase during the winter time. Let's see, Allied Democratic State, Allied Oligarch State. The bonus is up there. They're roughly about the same. Uh, they just allow for different units to be retrieved. I actually feel like they're about the same. This allows for cavalry recruitment. And this allows for hoplite recruitment. Uh, what do I have in this city? I have the archer one. So in this one, let's go with the one that gives me the cav. I need to see what they eventually can become. Uh, it was under Allied State Government. Oh, can I give a build both? Hmm, I'll have to see. Looks like I can build both. But if I'm going to build any one, I'm going to start with this one. Train. So we're gonna get him to siege here for a bit. Ooh, I can get flaxman. <laughs> kind of interesting. How much money am I making right now? If it wasn't for the construction, I'd be making about 1500. But let's end this turn for now. Okay, sweet. Retraining complete. Awesome. I'm not sure how broken uh, pike units are in this. Pelvian and Bactria are now at war. Uh, let's get that public order thing. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna lose four Denari. Get on this turn again. How many more turns for Tellus? Two more turns. Should be fine, I hope. Uh, I might actually record, recruit some cap, uh, some mercenaries. That would be some good ones. It's interesting how all melee units have um, <clears throat> have uh, javelins. Like almost every single one has a sort of javelin to throw that in uh, in this mod. It's kind of interesting. 
it's kind of weird. And it's like, oh, hey, I have my uh, little hoplites here. I want them to go in melee. Wait, what, what are they doing? They're throwing spears. They're throwing javelin. What the fuck? It's like, no, I want you to charge. But not all of them do, just some. Okay, one more turn. What I'm gonna do is I wanna break up the attack. And then get back in. Damn it. Just gonna attack it again. Have to wait. Uh, ooh, let's get more farming. Ooh, that's a lot of farming income. Let's end this turn again. Okay, now I can continue sieging Tillis. Uh, there's some decent units there. It's not going to be fun. Okay. Let's end this turn again. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not sure how to do that. Hmm. Uh, what else units? School. I probably should build one of these. Eventually. How much is it? 3,000. Mm, let's build a temple. Okay. Let's turn again. But as you guys can see, yeah, these turns go by quickly, just like my. Uh, oh, sorry, yawning. Oh, uh, just like my camp, other medieval campaigns, the turns just go by very quickly, very very quickly. Good thing I have about a thousand turns, because <laughs> it takes forever. But it's very difficult to grow off uh, the rubbles. It's kind of weird. But kind of interesting at the same time. Excuse me. Okay, how do I do that then? Just, I don't know how to do that. Honest, ready to dispatch. I don't know what to do with the colonists. Okay, so one more turn, and we can... No, two more. Two more turns, and we can take Tillis. No, somebody died! Let's end this turn again. Hmm, it's kind of getting hung up on uh, Sukia. Okay, and then this should not be that much of a problem. Huh, okay then, that's kind of weird. Almost done with that. We're still building units. Let's get this small temple. I mean, yeah, I don't know. And then 
Ravens, and it's, we'll turn one more time, and then we can take Tildes, and then we're gonna probably try and build up an army to take, uh, it was the city, uh, southeast of, uh, <clears throat> Byzantium. Byzantion? Byzantion? So we're gonna try to make sure to take that, and I'm not yet great. <sighs> Sorry about this. I'm still getting used to trying to wake up at 7 in the morning every day. Okay, and we should be fine here. We have, yeah, 5 to 2, we should be fine. Yeah, clear victory. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, the currency is actually Minai. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, I'm making so much money now. Sweet. Now, three providences, and I'm making moolah. Get rid of these mercenaries for now. And that's sweet. We're gonna go with the Hellenic Allied Free Polis again. I just like building that. There we go. I need my spy to scout around for me. And yeah, well yeah, the Nick uh Nick I I don't know how you pronounce that A I A I A. I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. But I'm gonna be taking that next. For now, though, I'm going to be building up my cities, making them happy, and just gaining money, because I need more money. But yeah, we've taken Tillis. I can try and find more uh, rebel settlements to take besides Nika. I, I, don't, I seriously don't know how you're supposed to announce that. I'm just going to call it Nika. Okay, no. I'm not calling it that. I'm sorry if that sounded very familiar to another word that I hate myself. I don't like to say it at all. I'm going to call it Nick. I'm going to call it Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. There's a clear K sound. Okay. Sorry for that. Screw it. I'm calling it Nicosia. What it's called in normal medieval. Nicosia. This rolls off the tongue better anyways. I'm not sure what I want to build. Ooh. No, uh, let's see. I'll just kind of do what I do sometimes when I don't know what to build. I just build whatever's cheapest. Mm -hmm. A spy? Yes, it is a spy. Let's build another one. Recruit another spy. So I'm going to have you kind of go around here. There's another one I could take. You take that one. I might do that. Oh, there's another one. I actually should be ending this video here, but I want to show you guys the map and just kind of see how everything is going for everybody. But suppose, yeah, they were hard because it took forever to take this city. But they're having a, they're just, they're fine, they're fine. <laughs> And it was just a pain. I had to even, when I was playing them, I also had to even just invade. I had to invade Britain. Because. Just because. Because uh, they had less units than I did. Because these were just full stacks. And they were just difficult to have an army that I could siege them out on. But, yeah, we're going to I'm gonna try and take, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just calling it Nicosia. Can I, I want to rename it, but I can't rename it until I own it. I'm going to rename it to Nicosia. Oh, Sinop. Sinop, I could take two. There's that city. But yeah, um, this is yeah pretty much what everybody looks like. So, so yeah, Elsian down here, Carthage. Oh, I'm tempted to play as Carthage. This should be fun, or and very difficult too, probably. Rome. Man, I think this is a perfect mod. It's awesome. But there, we've started to expand. We have at least three settlements right now, and we'll figure out where we're going to expand next. We're making some decent money right now. Some really decent money, which is great for this campaign. Uh, I definitely need to try and take... I'm, I'm still going to call Nicosia. I'm trying to take Nicosia. Uh, I could also try and take Ber uh, Beripara. I might try and take that next, because this army's here. But it's pretty beat up. I'm going to have to send it to get retrained. But, let's put this back. But yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this episode. I 
Uh, it, it's hopefully it breaks up my dry streak of not being able to record videos for a while. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, maybe like, comment, or subscribe. Um, if you didn't like this, please let me know why so I can try and improve. Also, maybe check out my Facebook and Twitter where I try and post regular updates on videos. I'm especially going to be trying to do that now since it's just when I have when I have when I have time to actually record. I should have time to actually post an update on Facebook and Twitter. And yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. I feel awkward because I haven't recorded in a few days. It feels weird. And I'm not used to my room yet too much. But yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this. And this is Rampan, and I'll see you guys next time.